Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about graphing square root functions and inequalities. Um, so we're just going to take a look at um, how to do the basic equation first. So our parent function right here is going to be y is equal to the square root of x. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and look at this table real quick. Um, now we know that uh, the graph can only plot real numbers, no imaginary numbers. So that means that the number uh, inside the square root has to be greater than zero because otherwise it would be imaginary. So in the table, obviously, um, square root of zero is zero, square root of one is one, square root of four is two, and square root of nine is three. So we're gonna go ahead and plot those points real quick. Um, so we've got zero, zero, uh, one, one, two, four right there, and uh, 9, 3, and so on. Um, so that's how you graph the first one, and we're going to take a little bit um, of a closer look um, about how you go about graphing these. So, um, right here, got it in big letters. So your basic formula for these is going to be y is equal to the square root of x minus h plus k. Um, a is responsible for the vertical stretch and shrink. So the higher your A number is, um, the, uh, the narrower uh, the graph is going to be because the numbers are going to get uh, bigger. And the smaller your A number is, um, like a fraction, it'll be uh, wider than the, uh, the parent function. Um, so uh, H is responsible for shifting the graph left or right. Um, this one's kind of counterintuitive. If, uh, if h is a positive number, it's going to go to the left, and if h is a negative number, it will go to the right. And then lastly, we have k, which is responsible for shifting the graph up or down. Um, this is basically just your starting point. Uh, if k is 1, then uh, the starting y value will be uh, 1. All right, let's go back to, uh, to this graph, and I'll explain uh, domain and range real quick. So... Um, as we know, uh, we have y is equal to the square root of x, so our a is just going to be 1, and we don't have an h or a k, or will we do, and they're both 0. Uh, so we have it graphed out, so our domain, as you can see, is going to be uh, 0 and infinity, because this, uh, this will just keep going on and on and on, it doesn't have an end. Um, and as uh, and this parent function y is also going. All right, guys. So now I've got um, another line put up on the graph. So this time our problem or our equation is y is equal to the square root of x minus two. So uh, we still have an a value of one and a k value of zero, but we have changed our h to a negative two. So um, because it's a negative. Remember, we have to look back at this sheet. Um, remember, h is responsible for shifting the graph right or left, and if it's a negative number, it will go right. So, our starting point is going to be 2 to the right. So, now, um, remember, our, uh, our number inside the radical still has to be more than 0, or 0 at least. So, we've got 2 right here. So, 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. Um, 3 minus 2 is 1, uh, or 3 minus 2 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. 6 minus 2 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, and 11 minus 2 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. So we're going to go ahead and plot those points as you can see right there. And now our domain has changed, so it's now 2 uh, and infinity, positive infinity. However, we did not change the k, so the range is still going to be the same. All right, guys, so now I've thrown another line up on that graph. So this time our equation is y is equal to the square root of x plus 3. Now uh, we have left the a at 1 again. So remember, it's going to be uh, the same. And we've also uh, changed our h back to 0 this time. But this time we have a k. And remember, k is responsible for shifting the graph up or down. Um, that's positive numbers go up, negative numbers make it go down. So it's uh, y is equal to the square root of x plus 3. 
So um, since this is outside the radical, it does not change um, what we have to make our x values to begin with. So remember, they have to be above zero. So unlike um, this one over here, where we changed the h, uh, we can just start off with our regular x values. So we're going to have um, x is equal to, if x is equal to zero, um, square root of zero is, of course, zero. But then you have to add three. So you're going to have uh, square root of zero, zero plus three is equal to three. And you're going to do that, the same thing with one, four, and nine. So you can see we've got those uh, points plotted up. And so this time, since our a and our h are the same, are uh, both one, or a is one and h is zero, um, our domain is just going to be the regular zero and positive infinity. However, since we did change the k, our uh, our range is going to be different. Uh, oh, let me. All right, guys. So here we have our first example. Um, and the equation for the first example is y is equal to, uh, to the square root of x minus 2 and then minus 5. So um, we're going to start off by put it, by finding out what our, uh, our starting point is going to be. So remember, uh, the, we, we have an a of 1 and our h is negative 2, so it's going to be moved over 2 to the right. And then our k is a negative 5, so it's going to be going down 5. So we're going to go right here, over 2, and then down 5. So this is going to be our starting point right here. All right. So we can start by putting the point 2, negative 5. All right. So as we're graphing this, we have to remember that uh, the number inside the radical sign has to be at least 0. So as you can see, the x there. Um, it's going to start at 2, so 2 minus 2 is 0. So next, um, we're going to make it so that the number inside the radical sign is uh, is 1. So we've got here, we're going to write x is equal to 3. So then if we go through, we can see x minus 2 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. Minus 5 is negative 4. So then we're going to plot that point. 3, negative 4 right here. All right, and then we're going to continue on with that pattern. So then um, our next number that we're going to want to get uh, inside of here is 4. So it's going to be 6, and this, uh, 6 minus 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Minus 5 is negative 3. So we're going to have 6, negative 3, just like that. And then we're going to plot one more. So the next number that we're going to want to get inside of the radical sign is going to be uh, 9. So you have 11. 11 uh, minus 2 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Minus 5 is negative 2. So we're going to have 11, negative 2, which is going to go just off the page right here. Now we're going to draw our graph. All right. So as you can see, this is more or less uh, the same line, just translated uh, down and to the right. So now we're going to find our domain and range for this problem. Uh, domain is going to be um, 2 and then positive infinity. And then our range, as you can see, is going to be negative 5. Remember, that's this right here and then also positive infinity. All right, so you can just rewind if you didn't understand any of that. And now we're gonna move on. All right guys, so here we have our second example. Y is equal to three times the square root of X minus two minus five. So the first thing that we're gonna do is find our starting point. So remember, um, we have a negative H that's gonna move it over the right two. So we're gonna have it right here and then it's a uh, minus five, so we're going to bring it down five. So this is going to be our starting point right now. So um, we're going to start off um, by plotting that point on our uh, table. So we're going to have two negative five. So now we're going to go about graphing this like we would uh, any other one. 
we're going to uh, to put uh, these squares that are going to come out to nice uh, whole numbers in there. So we're going to start off with uh, with we have our two. So two minus two is obviously uh, zero. Square root of zero is um, zero. Times three is zero. Minus five is negative five. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to get another point, uh, we're going to do 3 this time. So 3 uh, minus 2 is 1, alright? And then square root of 1 is 1 times 3 is going to be 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So we're going to have 3 negative 2. I'm going to come over here and plot that right here. Three negative 2. As you can see this graph is already a lot steeper than the normal one. Next um, we're gonna go ahead and get um, we're gonna try and get 4 in there so we're gonna start with a 6. 6 minus 2 is 4 the square root of 2 the square root of 4 is 2 um, times 3 is 6 minus 5 is a 1 so we're gonna have 6 one right there and then we're gonna plot um, the one that uh, is nine in the middle so we're gonna have our X is gonna be nine or no my bad our X will be 11 because 11 minus 2 is 9 the square root of 2 of 9 is 3 times 3 is 9 minus 5 is 4 so once again this is gonna be just a little bit out of our uh, X boundary but it really helps to uh, to plot so and then we're gonna draw our line alright alright guys so I have our last example up here um, the, equa the equation of our line is going to be y is greater than or equal to the square root of x plus 3 plus 3 um, so since it's y is greater than or equal to um, that will affect the graph in the end, but as far as drawing the line uh, at the beginning, it will be just about the same. So here we have a positive h, so it's going to be moved 3 over to the left. And then we've got a positive k, so it will be moved up 3. So it's going to be right here at negative 3, 3. We're going to go ahead and plot that point on our table right here. We're going to have x is negative 3 and y is positive 3. So... Um, Remember, uh, the number inside of uh, the radical sign must be zero or greater. So um, we have that with, uh, uh, if it's negative three plus three, that's zero. Square root of zero is zero, plus three is three. So now uh, we're going to get one inside the radical sign. So we're going to have negative two. And... Uh, Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1 plus 3 is 4. So you're going to have negative 2, 4. You're going to go ahead and uh, plot that one, which is right there. Uh, then our next point, one that we're going to try and get in there is 4. So uh, we're going to have x is equal to 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Plus 3 is 5. So, there's x is 1, y is 5. Now, we're going to get 9 as well. So, um, it's going to be negative 6, because negative 6 plus 3 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3, plus 3 is 6. My bad, that should not be a negative sign right there. Whoops. Alright, so yeah, it's going to be 6, 6 which is right there. Now we can draw our line. But remember, since it's y is greater than or equal to, we have to shade all of the y values above the line. So um, we're going to shade all in right here. And you may be thinking, what do I do once I get to this endpoint? Well, you're just going to go straight up from this starting point right like that all right 